Hello everybody, this is at Zoo, and this is part three of Sonic the Hedgehog, I've got two on Game Gear. Part three. Load the data. Load it up. There we are. And this is Aqua Lake Zone, the water zone. Yay! Everybody loves the water zone. Everybody always loves the water zone. Yay! So what you do is that you you get a rolling start and you able to skip across the water. You're gonna skip across the water a few times to pick up the ring and kill that guy. There, grab these. You can also go downwards. There's a hit of one up if you go all the way to the left, but it's usually not worth it. It's usually better to stay on this upper path. So instead, we're gonna stop bouncing back and forth now and. Take the loop de loop. I'm with that ring. Loop de loop. Wee! Now the strange thing is that you automatically move through the loop de loop and you can't go back the other way, which is sort of odd. Oh well. The guy got one up for rings. Let's break these out. That's for later. I gotta watch out for that guy. That guy spawned right behind that pillar. So yeah, you got to use that spring and jump up to hit this spring so you can pop up there. There we are. Jump over that spring and there's a ring shaft here. And another one up here. So chop down here, get these rings. There we are. Watch out for this guy again. He spawns right behind the pillar. That jerk. You have to know he's there. So let's grab these. And let's go back up there one more time to get a few more. You know, backtracking, because that's how I do it, you know. A whole lot of backtracking if I stop falling off the platform. That guy's going to keep respawning. Yeah. There, there we are. Now uh, skip across this this area. There, there's a one up behind this pillar. So let's get back across. And there's a one up down here. Yeah, all the one up. You can probably work your way back all the way to the left from here, but I don't want to finish the act. All the one ups that I don't need probably. This Act 1. The Act 1 was pretty painless here above the water most of the time, but Act 2 is the annoying one. Sorry about the brightness if that was a problem, but yeah. Act 2. This one takes place entirely underwater. Well, you start, as you can see, it starts out above water for a little bit, but then it fills up. It fills up pretty quickly. There we are. I saw, saw I fell down the hidden path. And grab these rings. Now wait here for a bubble. That bubble's important. You, yeah. So when you jump here, you'll find a hidden passageway. There is a ring box, and you can break through these blocks down here. And you'll fall down through a ring shaft. Grab the rings. And there's an invulnerability down here. Grab a bubble from this pocket here. Now the invulnerability is pretty useful here because you can see you can run across the spikes without problems. So you want to put it to use before the invulnerability runs out. Now here, here's what I was talking about back in underground zone, the bubbles, the giant bubbles you can ride in. Use up the speed up the, the quicken your ascent and press down to slow your ascent and you use left and right to steer. Yeah. And the only thing is here is that when you touch a wall or the ceiling, it pops, but the some of the rings, as you can see, are right up against the wall, so you have to touch the wall to get it. The giant bubbles also refill your air meter, too, so that's good. You need air. Air is good. There's a ring shaft down here. There we are. Get more air. And I missed it. Missed the air. I'll get air from this. 
you fall, fall down here, you fall down to another vulnerability in a spiky room. Another lobster. Rock lobster. Lots of lobsters and crabs in this area. It makes me hungry for seafood. So to get out of here, you walk to the left and you take the spring up. All right, jump over that pit. All right, ride this bubble up. Now you want to work your way to the left there without popping the bubble like I did. You don't want to pop the bubble. You need to ride the bubble over there without hitting spikes. Oh, I missed. Dang it. I haven't played this in a while. I'm rusty. Three week leave of absence. I'm rusty. Here. Let's try this again. Okay, dokie. Now watch out for that guy. That guy's a jerk. There's another jerk going to be coming up here later. So you roll or walk your way over here. Whatever you, your mode of locomotion. There. Let's wait for another bubble here. I waste some time breaking that other block. And through this area, you'll see rings, although they're arranged in a strange pattern. You notice the rings spell out Ray, R A Y, for some odd reason. I don't know if that's a Manta Ray or Metal Gear Ray or whatever. Well, Metal Gear saw it wasn't until way later, so I doubt it's referring to that. Give me bubble. Hey. Let's ride this up. There's also a hidden area to the left here. You may have noticed near the gate of the axe, he saw a ring box here. That's how you get it. You can't jump up from there to the ledge, so you have to take, go back down and take the bubble again. And you gotta watch out, because there's another jerk behind the scenery over here, too, at the top of this area. There, hiding behind the scenery. Now, when you enter the shaft, hold down left. Hold left. And you'll pop out at the Emerald Chamber. Emerald 3 you get. Now, when you go back in, hold up. They'll pop you back up at the start of the shaft, but that's where you want to go. So take because if you don't hold up, you'll take a long, you'll be forced to take a long bubble shaft that you don't want to. So jump up here, jump again, and then end of the act. Nice, nice shortcut. You can avoid that long and annoying bubble shaft down there. I think this is the longest act yet. Five minutes. Big hundred time bonus. Yeah, big hundred points. The X3, the boss act. Let's go after the boss. Skippy, skippy. Don't listen. There. Good thing I can sort of cheese my way back up there. There, you can avoid that debacle down here. And here's the boss. Seal. First of all, the seal kindly demonstrates how his nose injures him. So you can let him bounce Sonic. So what you have to do is that you have to bop his nose as he's expanding it, and just let him play with Sonic. So you gotta do, you gotta get over there before he makes it grow too fu too much. You want to try to get him along the side here, so you have room right there. And if you're lucky, he you might glitch and stay there, like I did. There, six hits, he's done. Let's go. Let me finish. I gotta finish. There. That was the annoying level. The next one's probably my favorite level in this game. But we'll save that for next time. So let's save it. Save the data. Sorry, sorry, this is my first video since my break, so. If I sound a little bit more off than usual, that's why, but hopefully I'll get back into the swing of it. So, see you next time.